we are at the Tramworks in Shandwick Place in Edinburgh. Now, if you're interested in how tram tracks are laid, you can get a good idea from here. So you can see they dig up the road. See that they dig up the road and lay down concrete pathways, and then they lay the track down on these sleepers. And then we move over here. You can see that they fill in the gaps between the rails to make it into a road surface again. So you can see they've already finished this first stretch, and I expect that this the second half will be finished very soon. Now one thing that I find odd, I'm not sure if it's just my eyes, but over in the corner there, yes, the rails appear to go up a little. The rails seem to move up and down independently. Because, I mean, it's fine if they're going to go up a gradient, but it looks to me like the two rails go at different angles. See that the uh, points are laid in the same way, although they just use much more sleepers than the normal rail. Use about double the amount of sleepers just to uh, get it to stay right in the same place as trams go over it. If we zoom out, you can see it's the end of the line there, and if we move over here, you can see it meets over here. We are, this is the meeting place here, let's just hope they line up correctly. You can see here how they lay the concrete on the rails, so they pour it in here, covering the rails as well as the centre, and then they scrape it off the rails. So, when they've finished laying down the concrete on the rails, they get tar and begin relaying the road surface. So we go over here. They lay down the tar so it's perfectly smooth. And then you have a working road again.